The otter is a creature that belongs to the mustelids family. There are 13 remaining species. Most of them are at risk of extinction. If you are thinking of having an otter as a pet, or are aware of someone who does, it's imperative to understand that their capture is not allowed and fines and other penalties can be enforced if otters are kept in captivity. In today's Animal Life video, we share why having an otter as a pet is not right and then what you should do if you find one. In what locations and how do otters live? The European otter used to live across all areas of Europe, even reaching from the Arctic all the way down to North Africa and areas of Asia. Since the middle of the 20th century, the majority of their population has gone because of hunting, lack of food, habitat destruction, and contamination of their habitat. All otters, apart from the sea otter, reside in rivers, lakes, or basically any place with clear, fresh water and nearby vegetation. They eat pretty much exclusively aquatic creatures like fish, crustaceans, or amphibians. Otters are a solitary being which can meet up with other otters only when it's mating season or when their young are still developing. Is the otter a pet in countries like Japan and Argentina? There is an increasing trend of keeping otters as pets. Though they might seem like a calm, manageable animal, the otter's cuteness covers that they are in reality a wild animal that has not been through the steps of domestication. People typically purchase them illegally when they are still young, even though otter pups must be with their mother until they are at least 18 months old, to grasp required behaviors for their survival. That they are solitary animals is an additional reason why keeping otters as pets is wrong because we would be around them a lot of the time. Also, our houses do not give them a proper space to undertake their natural behaviors. Otters can become highly aggressive when in heat, something which persists for a lot of their adult life. What to do if you come across a severely injured otter? If you see an adult otter and think it could be injured or require medical attention, it's ideal to watch them from a distance while you contact your local wildlife authority. Do not attempt to capture them as they might attack, and being that they are a mammal, they could transmit diseases or parasites. If you come across a baby that in no way could survive by themselves, you can put them in a sufficiently big cardboard box with a blanket to shelter them from the cold and bring them to a recovery center, wildlife rehabilitation center, or a forest ranger. It's against the law to keep an otter as a pet. Every otter species is found in Appendix 1 of the Site Ease Agreement, meaning that their capture or trade is completely banned in every country in the world. The management of these species is only prohibited for scientific purposes, the study of current population numbers, or reintroduction of animals to their natural habitat. The otter is also part of the burn agreement because of their risk of extinction. Due to this, because the otter is not a domesticated species, you cannot have an otter as a pet. Now that you know it's not okay to have otters, or any other wild animal for that matter, in captivity, do you have anything you can add? Do you know someone that's kept one? If so, tell us about it in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for more informative videos. And as always, we'll see you next time.